Well, the weather forecaster has promised us an agreeable day for football, and that's exactly what we've got. My name is Derek Ray, and my commentary partner, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And what we have coming up for you is live action from the Pro League. It's Kent, and they take on Standard Liège. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Merve Bocadi. Denis Dragos. Showing a real will to win the ball. Chance to do damage. giving it away Renault Emon well, that's how to beat your opponent but start defending what it mattered to the advanced position can they forge ahead no chance missed and a big chance at that Derek he should have put them in the driving seat there Gilles de Valle Dragush on to Rasca. Not to be advised giving the ball away there. Well, he'd be disappointed if he didn't take that one cleanly. Nurio. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. Well, the host, as you can see, if it's so much possession but unless they find some inspiration from somewhere I'm not sure where the winner will come from. they certainly need to up the tempo Ojija Ofoe and they continue to advance and a lot of options here will he finish and a goal that will do it They've been pushing for it, and now they've been rewarded. And back underway, 1-0 it is. Now he must favour the cross. Comfortable in dealing with the cross. That is that for the first half here. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have store for us. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. De Poit. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, he certainly had an impact on that first half, scoring that late goal, but I thought his overall contribution was really good, and he got better as the half wore on. Uh, doesn't get away with it. Free kick given. No card, but the referee clearly stating that's the last warning. Well, sadly, you've got to say, it all went horribly wrong for him. Well, he backed his technique. Unfortunately, on this occasion, it let him down badly. That's a poor effort. And well, what can they do to stop him running at them? It's looking promising. A 
being pressed here. Thirty minutes left for play. Ojija Ofoe. Hugo Kuipers. And teammates to play it to. It's got to be! And a goal to increase their advantage to two overall. That little bit of a cushion. Now it's all about keeping the concentration. Well, let's take another look. He's got such quick feet, hasn't he? It's a great turn and shot. What a good goal that is. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. You can sense the threat is there. And space available inside. Straightforward piece of goalkeeping. Untidy in possession. How can he take them on and beat them? Well, that wasn't a million miles away. Well, they're getting closer, but they need to take one of these chances. And time for the change now. Well, it's a great advantage to any side when you're as comfortable on the ball as they are. Just ten minutes remaining here. And he's in. Well, not making life difficult for the keeper at all. A wide attempt. Just the challenge that was required. Stipe Perica. And the ball with Emon. Well, the referee has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board. Renault Emon. The referee blows for full time. It ends at a victory for the home team. No complaints from the fans here. Well, Derek, they were dominant in most aspects of it. And so the battle commences. Into the 